Hello once again everyone, I am Motrus and uh, welcome to the third episode on the series The Last Door, the collector station. So yeah, uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get playing and see what we have to do now because actually I'm kind of lost. I'm actually kind of fucking lost. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we did. We solved the issues. Well, kind of solved the issues between Matthew and his sister. And we receive a coin as a reward. But I don't know what to do with the coin. I have no fucking idea what to do with any of these fucking objects. I haven't combined any the coin yet with anything. Okay, we actually did something. Oh, the music box sound, sounding now. Okay, so the coin triggers the, the music box. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe I can cheer cheer up some patients? Oh, right, wait, what the fuck? Where am I going? It's, it's here. Uh, do you want to hear this? the music box? Juliet. Okay, now. Okay. Uh, Okay, do you want some music, sister? <gasps> oh! Oh, holy shit, I'm a fucking genius! Oh, what a beautiful melody! It reminds me of my youth, when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you, for you have given me the sign I was looking for. Really? Your lack of faith was was uh, reinforced by by music box. Okay, well, whatever, whatever, man. At least we can progress. I don't know if that helped us. Okay, there's something on the window where she was looking. There is nothing on the on the window. Okay, there's there's a broken pipe. I can examine it. A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in a hole of this old rusty pipe. They are blocking the water stream. Maybe I can use this kind of shit? The stone? I think that would be useless. I think that would be useless. <sighs> the net. I cannot place the net. The netting there is full of dry leaves. Oh my shit. The mirror? I think that would be useless. Fuck. Oh! Right. You have hands. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Very sharp and rusty edges. If I try to put my hand in, I could cut myself. But you already remove it. Can I put a lot the net here? A stone away? Really? I planted the sharp edges on, of the pipe. Now I need not fear being caught. <laughs> okay. Okay. The net. Okay, we put the net there. The net should catch anything coming down the pipe. Oh, thank you, game. I actually didn't know what the fuck I was, <laughs> I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Genius time! So, yeah. Grab it. Grab the net. Nope, okay. A teardrop. What the fuck? It is, it is a glad tear. Glass tear. <laughs> Probably once belonging to a piece of jewelry. Maybe the statue of the Virgin Mary. Maybe I can put this teardrop there. So, oh holy fuck! My God, I'm 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 rolling through this fucking shit. I have placed the glass tear in a hollow of the virgin's cheek. It seems that it fits perfectly. It's so, can I do something? In the eyes of a fervent devo devotee, it could look like a real tear. It only if only I could make it shine. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, are you for real? Shine? How the hell am I, su am I supposed to do that? Nobody, nobody, noob. <laughs> nobody, nobody, noob, noob, noob. Oh my god, what can I do to make this thing shine? If only I could make it shine. I mean, I can use the mirror. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, a uh, mother is crying. Oh my lord, what does it mean? Please, please help. <laughs> what have I done? What have we done? Holy shit. Oh, I lost the fucking mirror. Uh, let me move. Okay, thank you. Oh, so, yeah, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> so, hello, mate. Can I talk to you right now? You must, you must help me. What can I do? What's wrong with you? This little time, I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain, yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But sir, I... Uh, I know, but I beseech you. You will be saving me from horrible torture. I will be eternally in debt with you, to you. I can't shoulder that burden. I will, however difficult this would be for me. Wait, 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 wait. He is asking us to kill him. Uh, that's that's it. That's actually the thing that's asking us. I can't shoulder that burden. What burden? Murder? Is actually that for real? I don't know. I mean, he's, the man is suffering, and, and we did all that fucking shit to get the nurse away. I think this, I, I think I need to kill him. I mean, that's fucked up. But I mean. Praying is not gonna be is not gonna help right now. Ha huh. okay. Hey man, can you please shut the fuck up and stop coughing? Jesus Christ. Whatever, I don't care. I understand. Your request is terribly hard for me. I guess I could find the courage to help you. I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. God bless you, sir. I do not know how can I show my gratitude. What I need you to do is, without the nuns noticing, to try to get an amount of morphine enough so, so that I can be embraced by the deepest of dreams and that way stop the rhythm of my heart. Holy crap, man. You really are suffering that badly. Fuck. Okay. Well, shit, I know where, I, I know where to get some of your stuff. You know what I'm saying, mate? Rub it. Um, I'm out. Oh, what the fuck? There's a note? Bolt went lies? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, the, the, the trigger and piano. What the fucking shit? Oh, he's, uh, he's, I'm not controlling Jonathan. Noise is coming from inside the coffin. What the shit? What in heaven? Can I open it with a lock right now? It's, it's too soft even to use it as a lever. A lever. To open the coffin, maybe the the shovel is is here. Oh my God, are you for real? I need to find the shovel. Wait, whoa! Is blood? Anonsus avid and walking stick. This no doubt belonged to the nun I spoke I spoke to by the window. But where did she go? What the fuck is going on, man? This is creepy as shit. Can I use it on you? You gotta relax, man. God damn it. 
Okay. So there's some pretty fucked up shit happening. Baldwin lies. So Baldwin is. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck am I doing. Maybe I'm, go I'm gonna go to the front. Maybe there's something there. Yes. There it is. What Baldwin? Hey, mate. What the fuck's happening? Uh. Wait, what? Uh. No, this is the same shit. I cannot. Wait, what the fuck? It's the same shit. It looks like it's. It looks like his toolbox. I wonder if there is something useful in it. I might be able to take a look if he if I keep him distracted. Okay. Distracted. Something really fucked up happened. I mean the patient's gone. The patient and a nurse is missing. Ah oh, missing. Um, sister, what the fuck? The shit! Can I ask you something different? No. Of course I can't. Can I open? Can I Can I go in there? Nope. Of course I can. Do you want some morphine? Of course you don't. Ah, Jesus Christ. So, after spending a handful of fucking hours, I have found that what you got to do was just to trigger the shit about distracting Baldwin and talk to him again. So now it has two more options to talk to. Fucking hell. Okay. Tell me about Mother Elizabeth. She is pretty strict. I can tell you that much, Mr. David. Do not think she likes me very much either. Tell me about oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> tell me tell me about this place. Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an epico episco episcopal, episcopal bishop of Aberdeen in 1805. Tell me about Aberdeen. It was a place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. I cannot, I cannot do an Irish uh, accent, as you can tell. It's the highest point of the city. Oi! You can you seem a bit distracted, Mr. David. Oh, do not worry about it. Oh wait. Oh I get it now. Sorry. Tell me about Aberdeen again. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Okay. I grabbed something, a tool. Hey, fuck off. Oh. Yeah. Uh I'll leave it with your work. Don't you worry. Okay, I grabbed something. A tool. So let's see if the if that shit can help us to open the coffin. Yeah, I yeah it can. What is this is okay. It's actually a fucking corpse. Holy, f the darkness of his eye. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Shit. Holy shit! Oh god! But what was happened? Talk, talk to me. Holy crap, Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Oh, Elizabeth is outside? Oh, I know what we have to do. Okay, so everything is coming together for what am I what am I going to do? So she shouldn't be here protecting the door. Yes. There is something. A large, bright and ornate key. Oh, I can. Oh, nice. The door is locked. Maybe the key. Holy crap. Okay, let's see what's inside. This is so. What the fuck? Oh, this is like a memory? Yeah, I think it is. Don't look into his eyes. Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Okay. Let's enter. Come in, my son. Did you think you could hide these books from me? They are just classic philosophy books, father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence! Instruments of falsehood, you mean? Jesus Christ. Phallus is coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. 
What the fuck? Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Holy fuck, I'm really glad I didn't grow up in those fucking times. I'm... Malum in C? What? What is it read? It is in Latin. Malum in C. Evil in itself. And a strange eye shaped symbol. Whoa. Sorry. <coughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck? Another eye shaped symbol. Eye of the burn. So a lot of fucking. They're breaking, right? Yeah, they're breaking. So the crucifix next to the door. Holy crap, this place is really fucked. Oh, okay, so this is the room. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest? It's been many years since I last heard thy name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here, I'm here to able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entreaties, petitions, brain, torment, exception. Past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, what the fuck? I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us, Jesus. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. Oh, Jonathan, I don't think that's a good idea. That fucking man is fucking crazy. A creepy image of Christ crucified. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth covering his head. Oh, that's fucking creepy. That's actually... Holy shit. He has a large bone covering... A, lot, a large burn covering his eyes. He's completely blind? Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness and baldness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Holy shit, Father, what the fuck? Glory to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice. The sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal? Wow, okay. His voice. A sharp sword, I gotta say. Yes, yes, that's it, my son. The law with his sharp sword transmits us his wisdom, his power, and his punishment. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one is the, his holy path, is his holy path, the wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed pens. Okay, I think it's gonna be the last one. Maybe the second one. Oh, I think it's the last one. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Your soul leaps embraced by the darkness. And now, my son, tell the Lord who you are. The faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman. Uh, I am the faceless pilgrim. Fucking hell no, there is no salvation of the Lord for your soul. Don't leave me alone, I have to purify my soul. Oh shit, man. Can I enter again? Whoa. The four witnesses. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes, I will burn them for you. Holy shit, he did that to himself. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are in my soul. I will burn it for you. Okay, it's the same shit. 
Oh, there's something. I know you are there. You didn't hear me? Get out of my room. Despite being blind, he perceives good hearing. He must be more careful when moving. An old razor blade stained with blood. Can I grow it? Can I talk to you, father, again? I know you're there. You didn't hear me. So I cannot do that shit again. And there's... A mentally ill act. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I was leaving. I was leaving, father. Okay. We got now a razor. Let's, let's see. I wouldn't be able to cut this so thick tapestry using just the razor. My hands wouldn't have enough strength. Well, then you're a fucking pussy, Jonathan. Come on. Using the wooden stop as a handle, I can use the, I can use it to cut it. Oh, okay. We combine it. Oh. So now it should work. Yes. Finally. Fucking tapestry. Laughing at my face. Okay, we enter, and again, okay, another memory. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah David, Jonathan David, sorry, sorry everyone, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. Well, Ernest was pounding me. <laughs> well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting. I, I suppose... One of one of the one of them is Anthony. Maybe. Well whatever. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? Oh yeah, he is Anthony. My dear friends, it is Professor Glynn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear college the colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the long uh, behind the small door of the classroom, I have believed I, I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know. At twelve o'clock, you will find the door open, and I'll be inside the lounge. That is it, my dearest colleagues. Bidet and equisia. Okay, we have some pretty interesting shit going on. A really interesting uh, club. <laughs> So these were the dorm rooms. Uh, I remember that this is the furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it's empty. The walls are in complete disarray. I could probably punch through if I try. Try? No, I can't. Okay. Mm, I remember that this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. A dusty mirror. Oh, I can go up. Oh no, I just sleep. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't have my shit. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Mr. Rabbit? Alice? Alice, what are you? Oh, I can grab shit. Okay. Okay, I know, I know. When going through a bush, Mr. Rye ran to Mr. Wolf, Mr. Bullshire, and Mr. Snake, who were having a heated argument. Okay, it's not about <laughs> uh, Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Just, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Not your business, you fucking right. Mr. Wolf answered politely, what we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Okay, a fair discussion, I guess. Fair topic. Mr. Rabbit really scared said, but I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. Okay, okay. More notes down. Okay, a lot of excess of blood. Okay. To which Mr. Snake answers smiling. That is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit. Since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? Well, yeah. Another fair argument. Uh, there's a shadow. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Bolcher, 
Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It is getting late and, as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us to decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? Okay, at least... Oh my god, there's a shadow. Oh, there's, I don't know what the fuck is a tree. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it! Why not organize a race? The first to arrive to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run high speed, but Mr. Butcher can go flying and avoid an obstacle, any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? Well, Butcher's gonna win. Oh, there's something else there? Oh no, it was my feet. <laughs> oh, oh fuck, that, those are persons, man. What the shit? Okay. The three predators agree that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. And the race got the fuck off of there. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. And the red room, right? Yeah, of course the red room. Okay, last note. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there and finally felt safe, happy and bright, uh, proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang, the air shook, frightened birds flew and everything went dark. The end. Wait, what? <laughs> but suddenly there was a loud bang, the earth shook. Frightened birds flew and everything went dark. Oh, a hunter! So, <laughs> a fucking somebody hunt, hunted the fucking rabbit. Neither, neither of the other predators did it, the fourth one did. Whoa, a lot of rabbits. A rabbit says, Well, hello, guys. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, I'm not going to shoot you. I do not have a gun. I'm not a hunter. So maybe... Oh! Um... Bye? What the fuck? An impossible love? <laughs> that is something I kept to myself for a long time. What the fuck? And the thing is that I love you. I have always loved you. Since the first time I saw you, since the first time I felt your frozen hands. Well, okay, each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty, dead eyes. That's a neat trait. I miss your rough hair, your greyish skin, your stench. Oh, it's a corpse. <laughs> but our love just cannot be. It is an impossible love. Oh, that's a, that's a tune. Okay. The end. Who the fuck was that? Baldwin? <laughs> no, not again. How long have I been sleeping? Or was, it, or was all that about? In the nightmare I found a place. A place in my memories. Yeah, I dust the mirror. Yeah, I think I know where it is. It's in the, um, in the classroom. Where Anthony said, actually, before. Well, everything's turning pretty fucking intense, I have to say. Uh, let's see. I think I have to let it hear my guys and girls and mates. I need to let it hear. We have been recording for a long time, so yeah. Uh, it, it, the, the game is turning really fucking crazy. I mean, it's actually being really surreal at 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 uh, at any time, you know. It's it's actually fucking awesome. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for thank you all for watching. Hope you stick for the next episode, which I think will be up pretty soon. And yeah, thank you, thanks everyone for watching. Bye bye.